Hey everyone, Scott with Air Gun Review. So I'd like to give you my top three improvements I would like to see for the Berna LE in 2024. And the first thing I'd like to say about Berna is that they are constantly improving. I love what they have done with the LE model and they do listen to us. So make sure that you are leaving a review on their website and tell them what you like, what you would like to see it for improvement. And also like and subscribe to me because uh, this is how they get their information. And matter of fact, if you go to their Berna website and you look at their LE, you will find there's a lot of the reviews and a few of other people that they put right on that page. So they are listening to us in total of what we'd like to see. And that is the purpose of this video is to get this out in front. So with that being said, the first thing I would like to see Berna do, of course, it would let many people would like is to lose the Berna adapter, which really does make it look like an aftermarket. It's bulky. Your any type of uh, laser that you want to put on, it drops down below. Um, I have taken mine off and I'm using the Mercy Less Lethal on here, but of course, by doing so, I am losing my warranty, my original warranty. Also, you may not be able to feel comfortable putting it on yourself, which you could get from Mercy Less Lethal. They will put it on for you because they are the experts there. All right, so that would be my number one, would be to take this off. Um, secondly, we would have to talk about the power. Right now, it is advertised to have 35 shots out of one 12 gram CO2. Okay, so we don't need to be carrying five, seven round magazines in a self-defense situation. So I think if Berna could turn the power up even more, which I understand, no, they have, um, which is great, but I think Putting it so we have two 14 round magazines would be the total amount of power that we would be needing. So I would like to say that either they turn up the power or they put the adjustment screw, which was on the Berna or is on the Berna SD, that they um, remove the plug and let us do it because the TCR, the Berna. TCR has an adjustment screw. So on this launcher, you can get 19 shots the way it is, or you can tune it to only using the 12 round magazine and get more like 20 joules opposed to the 12 joules that you would get if you shot all 19. So I like the idea that you can do an adjustment. So Berna, if you're listening, which I know you will be, um, my second top improvement would be either bringing back the adjustment screw so we can uh, have more control of uh, the, the shot count that we have and the power, or if you don't want to do that because it may screw around with the warranty, then make it a good 14 shot marker and turn it up a little bit more. That's number two. Thirdly, what I personally would love to see, again, it is something that involves the TCR, which I love, uh, and they've done some really great things with this, I, I have to tell you. But what I love about this is that when you pull the trigger the first time, it pierces the CO2. And then my second trigger pull fires the projectile. Uh, and that only takes seconds to do. But the added bonus to that is that you have your first shot coming out at almost full power. It's not quite because my second shot has a little bit more feet per second to it, but it certainly adds to it. I think, and I do love the piercing shoot, don't get me wrong, I love that idea. But that first shot coming out at half power is not that effective. So what I would like to see would be the same with the TCR. Instead of having to put this on safety, pull the trigger, and then put it on fire, which takes time, um, I would much rather see one pull pierce, second one fire. That would be awesome. Um, and um, But still, the fire with the, at least one shot, anything that is, um, I still like that idea, but I would much, for my personal liking, I would much rather have the first one pierce it, second, 
fire. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. Now, what would be over the top, those were my top three picks, but what would be really over the top for this is what I really like about the uh, TCR is the hinge on here, because this just makes it super easy to change out that CO2 just by dropping it in and putting it in. I love that hinge right there. So, what would be really nice um, is if they extended this like this, that you could actually pull the Picatinny rail um, up towards the trigger guard, drop in the CO2, and close it in. That would be the bomb. Again, that is not really one of my picks because that may be a little hard for them to do. But again, it would be a great improvement. So that's what I have for you. Uh, one, get rid of this. Number two, let's get the, um, the power, the shot count down, more power to it, or give us an adjustment screw. And number three would be to pierce first, pull, fire second pull. Hey, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, make sure you put your comments down below. Let me know how you feel about these things. Hey, thanks again. Take care.